Good news in the fight against the second deadliest form of cancer, colorectal cancer. A treatment could be as close as your very own medicine cabinet. Here's our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Debbie. Nearly 50,000 Americans will die of this disease this year alone, but new research finds something as simple as aspirin could help those diagnosed with colon cancer live longer. 54-year-old former fire chief Thomas Reinecke thought his abdominal pains were caused by stress, but a colonoscopy revealed he had colon cancer. I felt like my whole world just caved in on me. Um, I wasn't expecting that and wasn't quite sure of, of how to react or how to handle it. Reinecke wanted to get back to battling fires and saving lives. And now a new study shows simple aspirin could help that fight. The use of aspirin may turn out to have a, a, a very significant benefit in terms of improving survival for colon cancer patients. The study looked at over 1,200 colon cancer patients. Those who took aspirin, as few as two adult aspirin per week after their diagnosis, reduced their risk of dying from the disease by 29%. Most colon cancer tumors produce an enzyme called COX-2, which triggers the cancer cells to grow. The theory is that aspirin may work by blocking COX-2 and preventing cancer growth. We should remember that aspirin, as does every other drug, has side effects that are not trivial. Uh, we will wait and see if it becomes part of the uh, standard treatment for colon cancer. Today, Reinecke is finishing his chemotherapy, excited that something cheap and found in most medicine cabinets could help make him well. If aspirin will help, I'm going to be the first one on board for that. The study looked at patients whose cancer had not yet spread, so future research will likely try to determine if aspirin can help people with more advanced disease, Debbie. This sounds so promising, almost too good to be true. Right, there were some limitations to the study as there are most of the time. First of all, this was an observational study, so future studies will be done in a more controlled fashion and will probably put aspirin up against a placebo or dummy pill. And of course, aspirin does come with some side effects. Let's go over those again. Absolutely, and we're talking here about aspirin, not acetaminophen and not ibuprofen or Motrin right now, but aspirin is known to increase the risk of bleeding, can aggravate ulcers, worsen asthma, cause ringing in the ears. Patients should not start taking aspirin without discussing it with their doctor like anything, but it does look promising. All right. Good news, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Thank you, you so bet. much.